Hey guys, I'm here with my cousin Elizabeth today, and this is the first day I'm starting my hair tutorials. I'm so excited! So, uh, we're actually in Missouri right now, we're on vacation, and we decided to do a hair tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you the side waterfall braid with curls. So we're going to be showing you two different techniques. One is the waterfall braid, and then one is how to curl with the curling wand. So let's get started. Alright, first thing I'm going to do, just brush through the hair, and her hair was a little greasy, so I took some hairspray. This is just some we got from Sally's, and I just lightly sprayed it, and then I brushed through it, and this is going to make it easier later on when I curl it, so it should hold the curls or waves, however you're going to curl it, better. Alright, now I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to pick up a small section of hair, wrap it at the tip of the forehead, and split it into three sections. Now, if you know how to do a regular braid or French braid, this should come pretty easily. But if not, here's how we do it. I'm going to take the bottom section and cross it over. And then the top section, cross it over. Now here's kind of the tricky part. I'm going to take this bottom section and drop it. Right. And then pick up a section right next to it. So I'm going to show you again. I had this section. I, instead of crossing it over, I dropped it. and picked up a section the exact same size. And now I'm going to cross that over. And now we're to the top. So we're going to take a tiny section of hair and then cross it over and add it in. Then same thing. Take this section, drop it, hmm. pick up some hair, and then add it in. And it's basically the same thing all across. Same routine, tiny bit of hair. Take the section of hair on the bottom, drop it, drop it, pick up hair, and add it in. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm taking this braid in a diagonal motion, a very slight, so it's not that dramatic. But by the time I finish, drop it, pick up some more hair, I should hopefully be at the bottom of her other ear. Okay. So we just continue, and the reason why I'm showing this hairdo on her is because her hair is uh, pretty short, and I just wanted to show that this hairdo can really be done on any style of hair, and it's also slightly layered. So the reason why I'm showing it is because on the top of her head, it doesn't really matter if you have layers or not because it's quite easy to add them in because all you're adding hair in is just from the top and then just picking up hair from the bottom. Now if you have extreme layers, that's a little tricky, but for the most part, it works pretty well. So I'm picking up the last section of hair on the bottom and adding it in. And then my last section, right on top of her ear. And then I'm just going to cross that over. Alright, and then we're going to grab our hair tie. And I'm going to be using uh, one that works really well for her hair. It's kind of plasticky and it just it holds it really well. And we're just going to secure it right behind the ear. Now, if you have super long and thick hair, you can decide to keep braiding or um, ponytailing it off or bobby pinning it. I'm just going to do a ponytail, and then I, later on we're going to be adding a bow as an accessory. But for now, we're just going to leave it like that. All right, and now we're going to start curling. So, the best way I like to curl this hairstyle is to go back and find all the sections that I dropped. See? Okay, and I'm going to start by curling these sections because that is the perfect size that I'm going to that I'm going to need. So, all I'm going to do, I've already um, heated my, my curling iron. It's on 410 degrees, which is the highest. I prefer to curl my hair or curl anybody's hair on the highest degree because that's what's going to get the most impact in the curl and then you'll see when I release it I'm going to hold it for a little bit and that's just going to cool it down. So I'm not curling it right at the tip of her head because obviously that would burn yourself especially if you're trying to do it on your on your own hair. I'm just going to wrap it and hold it and count to 10 or 15 seconds 
It's just, uh, it depends mostly on the style of curl you want. If you wanted a very tight curl, which I don't really like, you could hold it for 20 seconds or so. But I want it to be quite loose, uh, mostly because her hair's short. And I just want it to be a little bit more wavy. And you'll see at the end I'm going to just kind of brush through it with my fingers. So I'm going to let go. And then I'm going to scrunch it up with my hand. And let that cool down for five or so seconds. And then release it. And you have a beautiful curl. And I just love the way it looks. Alright, the next section. Now, another trick is to alternate the way that you're curling it. So, the first curl, I went underneath. The next curl, I'm going to go on top. And again, I'm not going all the way to her scalp. Sometimes if the hair is slippery, it's hard to hold on. I'm just going to do it the opposite way and then again hold it. <laughs> this is always a long process. And then let go. And palm my hand. And the main reason for this is if you let it go immediately, it'll stay curled, but when what you're doing throughout the day or whatever, it's just going to loosen and loosen. And if you hold it, kind of scrunched up, and then release it, it'll help it stay the whole day. So we're going to turn off the video, and I'll show you again in a little bit how it's going to look with the whole head curled. And basically what I'm just doing, it, um, I'm just going to go back and forth between curling under and curling over. And we'll show you what it looks like at the end.